Hey everyone, welcome to the Superb AI Academy. My name is Tyler McKean, and in today's video, we'll be exploring how to create a custom auto label for your project. Traditionally, teams have spent a considerable amount of project time and money labeling their data, especially as the need scales across multiple machine learning models. With the advent of automated labeling, teams have been able to streamline this process to a certain extent. However, a common occurrence with automated labeling is that they tend to miss edge cases that are important to improve your model or be constrained to a set of basic classes such as people and cars. This is where custom auto label or CAL comes in, an evolution in automated labeling that allows teams to leverage subject matter expertise and develop custom automated labeling models for their specific use case. So how does it work? You'll first want to figure out how you want to partition your data set. You can do this easily by using our label tags feature to properly tag your training, test, and validation sets. So you can see here, if I filter by label tags, we have test, uh, which contains about 3,500 labels. We have GT1 or ground truth one, which is 1,300 labels. And we have validation, which is 972 labels. So once you've partitioned your data set, the next step will be to pull up your training and validation tagged images. So we can say it contains any one of GT1 and validation. And your, this will be considered your, your beginning ground truth data set. And you'll start by manually labeling these. For the sake of this video, we've already tagged and labeled our ground truth. So next you'll need to export your ground truth. So to do so, we can just click this box here and we can select all 2,276 labels in this list and then simply click the export button. And we'll see we're gonna export uh, to almost 2,300 submitted labels and that'll kick off the export. So then once you have, have exported your data, you can find them in your label exports tab here on the left. And you can see that the one I kicked off is, is running now. This is also where you'll be able to create your custom auto label from your export. So for this prior export, we can see that the link is present and you can just click on create custom auto label AI and press OK and you can name it GT1 plus Val and press OK. And now that custom auto label is being created and is off to the races. To save some time, I've already gone ahead and created one. This should typically take about 45 minutes to an hour, depending on how many images are in your data set. So once it's ready, as you can see here, you get some information about how the ground truth set performed on the validation set. So that label tag of underscore, underscore, validation, underscore, underscore, all caps, actually tells the system to use that as a static validation set. So as you continue to iterate over your CAL training, you can continue to use that validation set and see how your iterations are improving against it. So for this specific uh, custom model label, we can see that we're expected to boost labeling efficiency by 3x. And we can see that of the two classes in this, in this project, normal and pneumonia, uh, we have a perfect precision and recall on the validation set. So once it's ready, you'll need to um, apply your custom auto label. So the easiest way to do this is to simply click this apply button and you can see that we're gonna apply our category classification to the project. And so now we're off to the races and we can use our custom auto label to auto label images. Another way we could do this is by clicking the auto label settings and configuring our auto label this way. This gives you some more precise control um, about how you wanna um, select your, your model for your auto labeler. And that's it. The next step is to label some data, which we'll cover in the next video. But in the meantime, give custom auto label a try and I'll see you next time.